Hey, this is Piggy from Rob Zombie. Put your horns up. We're in Hartford, Connecticut for the Rockstar Energy Drink Mayhem Festival. And there's a band that you might have heard about called Rob Zombie. Headlining today. Great to have you here. How are you, man? I'm good. I'm good. Feeling pretty good today. So far, so good here at the 2013 Mayhem Festival? So far, so good. Uh, it's a very well-run show. The organizers and the crew here are fantastic. So our days are pretty, uh, pretty seamless. So it's been a great it's been a great tour so far. Any particular markets or cities that maybe you were like just completely like mind blown away? Um, we had an interesting gig in Scranton, Pennsylvania. The power went out during Five Finger Death Punch's set, and we kind of thought the crowd was going to turn on us at one point. We got the they got the power back on because these guys know what they're doing, and. Um, we kind of thought that the crowd was going to get a little hostile, but they didn't. We actually had one of the best shows of the tour that night. It was fantastic. Maybe that anxiety built to the show, right? I think so. Something happened. Yeah, it was, it was great. It could have been really, really bad, but it actually turned out to be a, an amazing gig. How's been the response, especially on the live setting for the new songs that you guys pretty, pretty much just... Um, really good. Um, you know, you can tell where... The record maybe sold more than other markets because they're more familiar with the songs. Um, but for the most part, it's been great. You know, I'm a big fan of when I go see a band that's on tour that has a new record. I want to hear some of the new songs. I don't want to hear a whole record, but you know that's cool too. But like, I want to hear like the greatest hits from the record. You know what I mean? Worked into the set, and I think we've done a pretty good job of doing that now. Obviously, there was a lot of preparation, rehearsals, as far as like which songs go. Like, in, in, I'm sure that like the placement is very important as well. For, your for a lot of reasons, the placement's very important. It's a very, um, it has to be a very organized show. There's a lot of moving parts. I mean, literally moving parts. So, but there's a there's a an underlying chaos that goes on with everything that's choreographed and the songs have to work with all of that stuff. So we change the set list every day. At least one song will change or move every day. So the people that saw the show at the beginning of the tour are seeing a different show usually by the end of the tour. And I'm, I'm sure the stage show changes a little bit too as far as lighting or anything. Yeah, 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 I mean, there's a, there's a lot going on. I mean, we, you know, we're, we obsess on the show from the time we wake up to the time we go to bed. Every and you guys are very visual, so you kind of have to always kind of bring that visual in a different way, too, because you don't want to get bored. Exactly, exactly. We don't want the audience to get bored. We don't want to be bored, so we got to keep it entertaining for everybody. So. And from the songs on the new record, which are your highlights, especially when you play them live, maybe that you kind of look at each other and you guys are like, whoa. Uh, I personally, I like playing Ging Gang Gong just because the lyrics of that song are insane. And it's the craziest sing-along song that I think a band could possibly have. Uh, I like playing that one a lot. That's probably my favorite right now. And I, well, you, you did a great cover of We Are an American Band, a that's classic a, that we grew up with. That's a good one, too. Yeah, that one turned out good. Um, that's a fun one. People know that one. You know, it's a good sing-along song. So, yeah, I like playing that one, too. You guys zombie fight it. It came out great, man. Thanks. Thanks. I like it. Hey. We gotta, you know, obviously the importance of a festival like this is that everybody's always getting new fans. Have you become a fan of one of the upcoming bands that you maybe caught up and you're like, hey man, that band has potential? You know what's funny? I've, I've been playing shows with Mastodon for probably eight or nine years now. And I just bought my first Mastodon shirt, like just now. Um, yeah, it's great. Um, so it's been nice getting more hang time with those guys. They're such, a, they're such good people and such a great band. Uh, I watched Huntress the other day for the first time. They were fantastic. Um, Butcher Babies I saw too. The Butcher Babies are, are have a crazy show. It's so fun. Um, there's a lot of great bands here. I'm, I'm slowly trying to, with the schedule as it is, you know, with everything we have to do every day, I'm trying to work my way around and see all the other bands. So by the end of the tour, I'll see everybody. Yeah, where people say, hey, I'm going to leave my 9 to 5 job to, you know, join a rock band. But it is pretty much an all time, all around the clock. You're always doing something for the band. You're, you usually are. Yeah, it's not, it's not what people think it is. You know, there's a lot more work involved. 
of course, the parties are always great. And I know here at Mayhem Fest they have like a, you know, the nightly theme party. I only, I stuck my head in one the other day, and it's the only one I've been to, and it was a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party. And to get in, you had to put on a headband. You had to, I was Donatello uh, for, I think, the whole five minutes I was able to stay there. But it was nice to be a turtle, you know, Ninja Turtle, so, yeah. And uh, did you guys throw your party yet, or is it still like... No, I, no, I, I don't think it's been figured out yet. Something will happen. Some, somebody will do something. I think Ginger, uh, our drummer, is DJing the party tonight, so that'll be, that'll be fun. Hey, of course, let's talk about the current lineup of the band, you know, because obviously for you guys, it's always very important to have people who are like, you know, like-minded and can represent that vision, as we said, because your fans are pretty picky when it comes to like what they like or not like. Yeah, that's, that's an understatement. Um, you know, I, I kind of sound like a broken record because I always say the same thing. It's easy to find people to play the songs. It's almost impossible to find people you want to hang out with. And there's a million guitar players and bass players that can do what I do. It's, but it's being able to function within the band. Bands are weird relationships. You know, it's unlike it. Everyone says, oh, it's like a marriage. Well, it is. And, but then there's business decisions that get made. There's creative decisions that get made. There's, you know, it's, it's, it, there's, so many, there's so many layers to a band relationship that I don't think people fully understand. They're like, oh, we just play some songs and drink some beer. It's not exactly how it goes. Um, so it, it's, a, you know, it's a unique experience. It's unlike any other relationship you'll ever have. You guys have done all sorts of shows all over the world, different festivals. What is it about Mayhem Fizz that you think kind of sets them apart? The people, the organization. I mean, festivals in America weren't um, as well organized 10 years ago as they are now. And these guys, these guys, these guys were so organized the first time we did it, but now they're really, they really, it, it's such a well-oiled machine that the shows are smooth, the, you know, everything's laid out for you, you know exactly what's going on every day. That makes a big difference. You know, European festivals for a long time were like, that was it, just do those. But now they've, these, these guys have kind of changed the game over here a little bit and it's nice. Of course, and of course, the important thing too is that a lot of fans who come to see you guys might check out Motionless in the Wide or yeah. Huntress at the beginning of the day and be like, hey, you know, I'm gonna go check them out, like buy the record, you know. And that's kind of uh, a cool thing to kind of hand it, you know, pass the tours to all the different bands that play here. Absolutely, yeah, it's nice because I mean, I'm seeing kids in the crowd with motionless and white shirts on that have never seen our band before. So that's it's a cool feeling, you know. There's everybody's kind of doing their part in bringing people in to see everybody else, and it works great. Great, great way to promote a new record as well, you know. Absolutely, yeah, absolutely. Hey, dude, huh? Who? Which is the best smelling person on the tour? The best what? Best smelling. The best smelling? Oh. It's a good question. I always see the, um, I always see uh, uh, the Butcher Baby guys, the guys in the band, in line for the showers. And every time I walk by them, they're, just, they're pretty, pretty fresh pretty fresh I'm impressed good hey, we, great band and they smell delicious great band yeah and uh, which is your favorite non-alcoholic drink uh, my favorite non-alcoholic drink I'm uh, actually I'm drinking uh, synergy today if you'd like to give me an endorsement I'll be more than willing to so yeah that's uh, this is my this is my new jam on the tour how about when you guys are partying? What is your drink of choice? Uh, no, actually, no one in the band drinks. Yeah. Like when you get home, do you drink, or you just kind of like you guys got into them? No, no, no one in the no one in the band drinks at all. We can't, man. You know, we got we got fire and shit to worry about. We can't be hungover, dodging fire. Like, who does that? You know. Yeah, but see, for the people watching, as you said before, everybody thinks it's funny in games, but you have to make a decision like, hey, it's cool to dream, but hey, we got to work, so we got to be completely focused because we don't want to get burnt, you know? No, man, we got, we got stuff to do, you know? So, got to 
put safety first, unfortunately. Always, always safety first. And hey, you are playing ESP bases nowadays, so let's talk about not only the ESP base, but your rig in general. Let's tell the fans because they're like, hey, how does he get that tone? How does he get that sound? Uh, I'm using Harky uh, amps these days and cabs, which are amazing. Um, using a M MXR full bore pedal on a couple of songs. Um, that's the best distortion pedal I found for bass. Um, it's unbelievable. Uh, still using my Fender P's with my EMGs. Uh, Fender P's with EMGs. It's like peanut butter and jelly. Um, but I, I've added some ESPs to the mix this tour, and I really like them a lot. Um, I got some really cool graphic bases, and and uh, there's one that's completely studded like a leather jacket. It looks it looks insane. Um, you know the the bases for this band have to be kind of visual, and a little more theatrical than most rock bands. So. Um, it's nice having that extra weapon in your arsenal, you know. Because yeah, you guys do have, obviously, add the theatric aspect to what you do. Yeah. My opening base of the show is a giant inverted cross. Yeah. So. Did, did you kind of have to, like, modify your playing a little bit to learn how to play, like, a particular... Yeah, yeah actually, I've never tried to play a giant inverted cross before on stage uh, in a bat costume. So that, that's, that happens. I'm sure with this insane weather, today is nice, but I'm sure like when it gets really hot, you guys really feel that on stage. And that's another like that's another reason why you should be fit and not hungover because you want to make sure you don't pass out in the middle of the show. Yeah, and you know what? It's the the heat gets the best of you sometimes, and uh, you gotta hydrate. You know, that's another reason to not not party on a tour like this because you 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 got other stuff to worry about. You know, like health wise. Especially when you're outside all day, you're in the heat, like you got to take care of yourself. So We've all had too many friends that, you know, are not longer with us because maybe they didn't slow down when they should have. Exactly, exactly. And, when, and like I said, when you're, when you're surrounded by fire for an hour, you want to like try to stay cool and stay hydrated, you know. I, I, I totally understand what you're saying, you know, you kind of have to some sort of sanity while you're doing this. Because it's not by any means the same style of life, so you got to have some sort of sanity. Yeah, just a little bit. That's all you need. All right, for the fans watching, you know, they're obviously watching, listening. Tell them whatever you want, man. Thanks for uh, buying the new record and coming to the shows, and we'll see you guys over the next year or so, year and a half. We're going to try to make it to your town. So thanks a lot. We'll see you soon. Right, brother, thank you very much. Thanks, Have a great set tonight. We're stoked to see it. You know, like, we heard a lot about it. I'm, I'm, I'm stoked. I know Hartford, Connecticut is always ready for you guys. Yeah, it's a good show here. We always have fun here. Yeah.